Hey guys, welcome back aboard Cross Tankers Railroads. Brian and Mike here, and we got just got to Ashland, Virginia, and we're here getting out of the car, and we're going to walk on in, and there's some great stuff to see just as we go into the store. It's amazing, and you guys are really going to enjoy this. So here we go. Let's start today's adventure at Tiny Tim's Trains and Toys. He had a wicked mural. Yeah, this mural is really cool. And here the main railroad was the RFMP, Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac. And that is a mural of an actual steam locomotive that ran right here through uh, Ashland on that railroad. And it's just totally cool. That's so awesome. And the uh, engineer in there is rumored to be Mr. Whitaker, who was a gentleman who owned most of the buildings here. And this is something that was done to honor him uh, later later on that he always wanted to do a mural from what we heard about the local history. And as we go here, you see the main lines that run right past down in front of the store here. And they get over uh, 50 trains a day that come through here. We had some great rail fans. So as we walk on down here, you can see there's uh, Tiny Tim's there. So we're going to be going inside and going through and checking out all the great stuff that they have in there. It's out front. It's a great historic building. Ashland's a great historic town. And this has been really awesome. And here we go on in and let's check out Tiny Tim's Trains and Toys. All right, guys, here we are inside Tiny Tim's, and it is pretty darn neat. I got to swap out my glasses so I can see inside. And there we go, much better for me. And here we are, we're going to go through the whole store and check everything out. So as you see, let's pan over here to this amazing wall. This is their in-store layout to check out some stuff. They got the uh, line chief on there running, and we're going to come back to that. And we'll be playing with that a little bit. But here we go. This is their MTH wall up here. Um, MTH power, totally awesome. I mean, down there, they have a New York Central Aero train there, which is totally cool. And that was, uh, that was sleek and futuristic, I believe, back in the 60s early 70s so here we go you can see an array of uh mth rail king as well as premier engines up top and their selection here has really blown me out of the water i was totally shocked and surprised and totally oh wow look a seaboard engine i know i get too easily distracted as i'm looking around these are gorgeous I really like those Norfolk Southern engines. The paint on those is just amazing. As well as the, the Rock Island line up there with those Independence engines are totally awesome. Oh my God, it says fly for Navy. Giggity. Oh, wow. That, that's really cool. Look at this, guys. Some beautiful stuff up there. But of course, you got to love my PRR up there, those solid stripes. Can you hear them calling the name? It's like a siren song. Diesel. Love these guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Pretty uh, Virginian up there is really nice as well. Love my Conrail blue. Hey, wasn't that the Amtrak that just came by outside, Mike? That looks like it. It does. That looks very similar to it. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen these before. That Santa Fe yellow set. That's me personally. I haven't I seen those. That, that is really gorgeous. The paint on those is something else. Totally awesome. And here's the local uh, railroad, of Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac that really went right through this area. Those are some beautiful, what are those, E8s? Yes, those are E8s. Really pretty. Love my Pennsylvania. And of course, there's the Norfolk Southern 611. But you can see here, they got a ton of inventory going through 
you know, we could spend the next hour and a half looking at every box, but you can see they have a ton of stuff here. And then back on this wall, look at this. Man, they got all this Premier stock. Tons of stuff going on in here, guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited over this. Look at this. I'm excited for it. This is really great. Look at this stuff here. Oh, oh, check that out. That's at 4141 for GW. That's a beautiful engine. Really been thinking about that. Ah, with the coffin car. There we go. Oh. And the coffin car. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. I believe, oh yeah, I think that's RJ. Shout out to you, RJ. I believe that you had those on your layout up there. RJ's trained. You had those on your layout. They are really pretty, and it's the first time I'm seeing them in person. And they are a gorgeous set. That's really amazing. Wow. Love them. And we're lucky enough here. Here's Russell standing here, and he happens to be the train master here at Tiny hey Tim's Trains and Toys. And he's agreed to be able oh, to like, train. Oh, there we go, quick. Forget me. <laughs> <laughs> we well, got sucked into a brief moment of rail fanning here. I lose more customers like that. Yeah. What? Talking to awesome. them and the real train will just suck them away. <laughs> Russell's been so, so accommodating to us as we've uh, been here and we're trying to figure out what was going on and learn about Tiny Tim. And here's the train master. Can you tell us a little about what you've been able to do here in these last several years here at Tiny Tim? Well, we just kind of picked up off for where my buddy, they used to have the store about uh, seven years ago. Okay. And we uh, just actually increased the inventory, really went high into the digital stuff. Mm. Uh, and modernized the whole thing and built the inventory up to the point it is right now. We carry all gauges, and we have a good inventory and everything, but it's all about personal contact, personal service. Uh, the new digital stuff you really kind of have to explain to a lot of people, they're not even aware that it's out there. So sure. it's, a, it's a selling thing that you need to do every day, uh, making people familiar with what's going on in the train world. It's a, modern hobby now it's not the old transformer hobby that grandpa yeah. had uh, so uh, that's that's what the business we're trying to attract and, and uh, we got a lot of young people in here they start over on the far corner and the thomas stuff and they just kind of work their way up and then the grandfather will buy them their first probably a lionel uh, line chief set for christmas and after that, it, it, they just keep up adding on. So we're happy to have those people in here and expose them to this. Well, I think it's still a very great hobby. Oh, it is. It's the greatest hobby in the world. Nothing beats it. I tell you what, this has just been amazing. And he's right with the service. Us being here, they've been so accommodating and explaining everything to this store for us. You guys just touch base with them and we'll have all their contact information, I'm sure, displayed right below me somehow that I'm pointing now on the screen and all their contact information will be there. I and when, yeah, I know. <laughs> it appears there magically somehow. He did my joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be moving yeah, through this store guys, here uh, and we're going to see some more coming in and, uh, stuff. Uh, and we have more questions. We'll be yeah, back around. Come on. Yeah, we're here to... If, 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 if you don't know the answer, I'll make one up. Yeah. All right. Thank <laughs> you, Russell. That's been awesome. This is his area. They got a great uh, scenery area back here to get those types of things that you need for your store and it's so awesome and here we are here we're getting into some line L as you can see here's their line L area with some engines there's some gorgeous stuff going on here love the chessy and the pussycat here you know you guys know that a lot of that with the cat was a throwback because it was so quiet the train was so smooth that a kitten would fall asleep is where the uh, where that comes from and what they were doing Here's another RFMP. They got a nice, nice selection. Oh wow. oh, wow. Look at that, Navy. Wings of Angels. <laughs> With a pinup awesome. girl on it. That's really neat. You know, their selection is totally awesome. Here's some more scenery stuff and all the extras that you need. Great, great amount of magazines and instruction books here for all the different things. My God, I didn't know they made that many different ones. Wow, that's actually really awesome. So as we go through here, guys, we're walking back through here. And you can see, I know, Mike, it's stacked up there, but they got tons of the MTH buildings and everything and more down here and oh here's a whole polar express area everybody loves the polar express right 
We're going through here. They got lots of fast track. Oh, wow. Which one? Oh, yeah. This is a gorgeous engine. I know there's a lot of you guys talking about this one. Here it is. Come get it. Fresh to go. Just tell them Crossed Anchor sent you, though. This is really awesome. Oh, nice. They really do have quite the selection here. Huh. Huh. This place is stacked to the ceiling. I know. It's just like they get pulled in. I know I'm supposed to keep talking and keeping the videos on, but there's just so much always cool things. And when you're a train person, you can't help yourself. Transformers. Oh, hey, there's a couple of you guys I know mentioned even asked me about. Oh, wow. That's some die cast. Holy cow, that thing's heavy. Some K line stuff they even have here. K line die cast. Boat loader. Wow. There's definitely some cool stuff. Ah, look. Every train store I see has some Hess trucks in it. All right, Mike, we'll have to come look at these cars. Uh-oh. Is that a Corvette? Is that a Corvette? Uh-oh. Oh, and it opens up. We might have to do a Corvette. We'll have to do some shopping. Look how cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. A NASA car. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Nice NASA car. That's really awesome. And we have a huge facility not far from here, Hampton, Virginia, down closer to where we're at. And that's Langley at uh, NASA there, and that's a big facility. Oh, wow, they really do have an amazing selection here. Oh, check out this Godfather's Fish House and support our troops. That's really awesome. Oh, I like that. That's so cool. Oh, wow, look at this one. <laughs> Florist Gump. I've never seen that one before. <laughs> Jerry's Comics. That's great. I've never seen that one. Old Line Flag Company. Here's a Statue of Liberty. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's pretty Norfolk and Western. Oh, they're more the Fredericks and uh, Richmond, Fredericksburg, and Potomac. Oh. Oh, Colling Tower. Now, they also have a selection of toys geared towards very, um, from what I'm understanding, to be educational and motivating and great for young kids. So we'll scoot through this area a little bit, too, so you guys can see the extent of the inventory they have in this store. It's so awesome. Oh, wow. All sorts of stuff. Oh, wow, look at this pig. What is he? Is it like a pig they can ride or something? Looks like it. Oh, it looks like a bouncy ball almost. Oh, that is so cool. I don't think I should sit on it. No. But that's that's really neat. I've never seen one of those before. Really cool. And of it's course, like an there's old some school trains toy in store. here. That's cool. It is. Oh my God! If it were a snake, it would have bit me. I didn't even see it there. Four car. You can see that they can't help the trains even sneak in up there. <laughs> I love how they put the big stuff so it's easy to read and you don't got to read the little print. That's so, so easy. Wow, this is pretty neat. They do have a wide selection of stuff. Lots of different things in here. Oh, this is some old school Planet Robot. Oh, look at that. That's like a robot from the 50s. Oh, cool. Oh, it is neat. That's old school. I'm not taking it out of the box, but that's so neat. They do. It, they really have some unique looking things here. Puzzles. This is really, really neat. Back here, here's another wall of uh, magazines, instruction books, and books that they have. And of course, our standard uh, magazines most of us are familiar with dealing with the hobby. 
that you can see, as well as what was pointed out by Suzanne, the owner, to me, was here they have a ton about rail history geared towards the local area and the Virginia Train Collectors Club that is uh, here in Virginia. And several were written by all local artists and going over the history of railroading here in Virginia. And it's a wide array selection that they have. Oh, there's a Harry Potter train. Hmm. So I want one of those. I know, Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter. Now we're going to come down this one. And here's some more, of course. We've got Thomas the Tank Engine and everything like that. And I don't know if I told you I started, well, Thomas the Tank Engine wasn't around when I was a kid. But I got hooked at 10 months old with my first wooden train by Brio. And it was just a simple circle, and I got that at 10 months old, and that started my journey down this path in the world's greatest hobby. And there's a wide array of different beginning trains they have here. So you could start your young children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren out and get them in the hobby early. Oh, wow, and I didn't even notice all this track here before. Those switches. Are so cool. They've got, so I have like the beginning oh, wow. level ones. That, that look oh, wow, like it actually switches. I didn't even know that. My Brio never did that. They've upgraded. Since yeah, then. they've upgraded. Everything's upgraded. Really neat. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, that's cool. They got an Amtrak one. Oh, here. Those actually look pretty real. They would be an OIF. I messed with these M1s a bit. Those guys, Patriot Launcher there. Did see those going around. Oh, oh, here you go. H60 Seahawk. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. That's really that cool. Uh, not overly, but that's really cool. Those spent a little time in these, and then her sister, the Blackhawks, virtually the same thing. check out all those t shirts you Look at this. Do you see the t shirts? Let's see if they got any PRR. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Is that an Allegheny? No. What is that? An H8? Do they say? Lord knows. No. I can't remember what each and every engine is. It looks a little too quick. Mm. Norfolk Southern and all of its heritage. Okay, buddy. That's cool. We're going. All folk of Western. Oh, that's pretty. I know a lot of you guys love the 611 on the Falcon Arrow. That it's pretty. That one? Didn't that say that? Yeah. It says it on the front? Yeah. They did have a beautiful train. So they got so many different things here. That's really awesome. Ashland. Amtrak. Oh. <laughs> loco for locos. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really neat. Let me scoot past you. I can see it as you look at it. Oh, okay. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go look at what we're doing. Oh, of course. There you go. For all you big boys out there, big boy fans. There you go. There's the big boy. I like their Aslan shirt. Yeah, shout out to where we are here. Ashland, Virginia. You got those in four colors. And a local shop made them. You know, it's lo shop local, so a local retailer will buy from a local t-shirt maker. That's and so keep, awesome. Keep it all local. But these are as soft as oh, wow. a night shirt. Oh, wow. They are nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is, this is Suzanne, the owner of Tiny Tim's Trains and oh, Toys. And so she's been, I'm going to take my mask down just so she, I'm, yeah. <laughs> And she's been kind enough to tolerate us in here. And to, and to give us such amazing access to go through and tell and us I all about. I scheduled all those trains just so they would come for your business. <laughs> for your visit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Is it okay to tell, yeah. tell our Well, uh, hi folks. Uh, welcome to Tiny Tim's. It's, I think, the coolest place in the world. It's not a bad hangout. Um, everything that we do has been all picked by hand. I order from 60 different companies. And I think you talked to Russell, who's the train master. Mm -hmm. um, but I look at play different. I look at it from my special needs kids. 
from my very advanced kids, from my seniors recovering from strokes, from somebody who has motor coordination issues. I just look at play from all directions so any skill level in a family can play together. And that's what it's all about. That's so awesome. That is really <laughs> awesome because that's what's going to build this hobby and keep it going. Right. That we have to think outside the box people on how we can apply this. And something that we've enjoyed is being able to use STEM and to show how that technology exists in our hobby in so many different ways to implement the science, the tech, the engineering, the math and computer science throughout the system because modern modern hobby here has all that well, and it is cutting stood, edge. We never stood still. So, yeah. I mean, because who plays with trains and who has? Engineers, mm -hmm. rocket scientists, doctors, mm -hmm. architects, lawyers, yeah, me, lawyers. I'm a chemist, okay, so we all, and, and there's different aspects, then there's the history guys, the history buffs, you know, but everything is solid state and circuit, where else can you put a track together and see if you've got a complete circuit, you can play with a, with a, um, with a, multimeter, thank you very much, yep, <laughs> A multimeter and actually see electricity flowing yes whereas when the microwave over the stove went dead last week well it's just dead mm -hmm. other than I'm going to keep it and let my 14 the 14 year old in our family pull it apart to see actually what's all behind all of it well that's really so cool keep your old electronic stuff when it dies let the kids unscrew it we were doing tube TVs when my kids were little. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and add when that to the stem. But that's taking something apart. How mm -hmm. about building something? That's railroading. Yes, it is. And this is just, this store is just totally awesome. And this, there's not, there's not a ton of them left anymore. And we've uh -huh. talked about it online as supporting your local hobby stores and get out and buy something from them. Be so able to save them all. Telephone us. We'll yes. ship anywhere during COVID. We had... Um, drive-by pickup folks would just call all I needed was some couplers well I'll stick it in a first-class envelope and mail it to you that's really easy a lot of folks don't want to order online they're mm -hmm. afraid to put their credit card online but we will search and actually find something for them and for a modest fee we will get it in so I have a couple customers that I do eBay for them you know so um, oh, yeah. that's awesome <laughs> that's so cool but that's the service that's the people, and that's because we love our hobby. That's so cool. Uh -huh. Tiny Tim's, they're going to take care of you, man. Check them out. <laughs> Let's finish going through the store here. Thank you, Suzanne, for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, look at this neat stuff. What is this? Mad Matter. What the hell is that? Oh, that's that foamable clay stuff. Oh. You can form it. Or it's like sand. Oh. It's cool. All right. Okay. I'll have to check that out. First thing off my head is my mother's voice in there going, that looks like something that would stain. <laughs> I'm sure she'll it. love that you said that. Yes, I'm sure my mother will love that. Yeah, here we go. Oh, my God, a light bright. A light bright. That is crazy. I don't know that. Wow. Light bright. That is so crazy. It's been a long time since I've seen a light bright. Wow. They do. They have quite a selection in here. All right. How are you doing this afternoon? Caption this a game by Fell Army. Hmm. Totally neat stuff. Piggy bank gang. Counting chess teacher. Gross. That's really neat. I'm gonna scoop by you. Hmm. Well, let's walk down this way a little yeah, bit. So these Look at, check out those G scale that have out there. Out that American CRS. Freedom Train is awesome. Oh, okay. And I think that CSX might have just passed a, us. It may cool not be that number, but it was uh, one of those ones. But they do have G scale up there, and we're going to go check out the smaller scales here on this side of the store and check out some of the HO stuff they have going on. 
can yeah, actually mix in mixed sure. feeling, uh, mixed review. Her, uh, I, I, I think it's, yeah, her, it's her working great for you. Yeah. So yeah, so we're doing oh, a lot more. Here's with some N scale action. down in here. Yeah, yeah. N scale engines, and they have a guy for you N scale guys out here. Here, Tiny Tim's. They have a gentleman that'll do custom painting and decaling on N scale engines. So if you're interested in that, hit them up, and they can even get your N scale customized for you, which I think is totally cool. And here's their uh, HO section, which is growing, is from what they're telling me. But over half the store is O scaling. You know us, O scale is the way to go across Anchor. But we love all the hobby, all the scales. They do have a wide selection here, lots of HO. And even on the one behind you, potato track, lots of stuff. Awesome! Excellent. Excellent. It does. It does. It's a great one. So we've got two fellas here from Franklin who are. Um, um, Cross Thinkers Railroads. Look us up. I have myself YouTube channels. You do? Oh, sweet. Oh. We'll follow you. Look at that. I love all the coffee mugs. Huge selection of those. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. So guys, this is Connor. So he's, he's a... Hey, Connor. I checked your hand, but it's COVID season. Yeah. We could do the COVID bump. Yeah. There you go. Works for me. What's your channel? Uh, my channel is uh, Connor and Jim's Den. Okay. Um, yeah, it's named after my dad and I. We have the we have the uh, Connor Lake and the town of Jimsville. Oh, oh cool! Awesome. What yeah. scale do you do? H O. H O. That's yes. awesome. How long you been into it, Connor? Um, you know, I. Uh, it's actually funny. I was uh, I was always an O. I was always an O guy at my dad's house, and then at my mom's house it was H O. And I was. I was up at Deep Creek Lake with my dad, and we saw a Bachman HO scale EM1, and I said, mm -hmm. Dad, we got to get this, because it was actually interesting. It was on consignment, but it was mismarked, so it was a lot cheaper than it actually was, so I called the guy, and he said he'd honor it, and my dad was like, well, we don't have any HO at my house, and I said, then we got to get some, and six months, late, uh, six months later, we went to uh, MB Klein, which is model train stuff, and we bought everything to build a 4x8 layout, mm -hmm. and that was three and a half years ago. No. This is all in scale. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's wicked. We'll come take a look. Thank you. So it's been about three and a half years now, and it's still going strong. That's awesome. That's really cool. You should check out a group on, uh, do you familiar with the Discord? Uh, no. Okay. Discord is a, uh, what would you call that? A blog area? And it, it's a chat room. A chat room. My bad. My bad. Uh, and on Discord, if you go there and get the app for it, you go to the main, uh, there's a subgroup called the main line, which is a group geared more towards the next gen and trying to get the hobby and keep it going. And there's a lot of great younger model railroaders of all scales on there talking, sharing their pictures, videos, talking and asking for help. I would love that. That's great stuff. So check We post out. a link on YouTube. Good. My, none of my friends understand what I do. I can watch my trains go for hours. And everybody on there says that same thing. They yeah. thought they were alone until they found, like, find others. And a shout out to GFW trains on there for starting that with Wally and George and getting that to help find those types of things. So what's the name of your channel again? Uh, Cross Anchors Railroad. Nice. Look, there you go. Yeah. Sporting it up and check us out. Like our videos. We're doing subscribe. a live premiere today. Yeah, at 6 p.m. we got a live premiere. We did uh, Dell's train station the other week down in Norfolk, Virginia Beach area. And we, the hall we got there, our video's premiering tonight for unboxing it, doing a review on the products, and putting them on and having a run session. We have a pretty decent sized layout that we uh, like to do some running on. Hit us up on there, and we'll subscribe back to you and check you out on YouTube. We'll see you on Discord, all right? Awesome, I thank think you. All right. It was good seeing you, Connor, with the COVID you. bump. All right. Thanks for talking with us. Of course. See, the hobby's awesome. Look at that. Right away, all of a sudden, we made a new friend, and I, I know he's going to go online and, and hit up. Because last time at a train store, there was another young man, wasn't there, Mike? Sure was. And sea he's World. on Discord, SeaWorld on Discord, and he's hitting it up. And it's just, it, it's the world's greatest hobby. Let's check out these drawers that 
we did walk by and I guess I didn't want to touch. And Russell pointed them out that this is all end scale. Oh, those look like little, not end scale. From the first drawer, oh wait, those pins. Look, no, Pennsylvania Railroad. Ooh, I had to get one of them. Yeah. Railroad pin. Oh, this is really wicked. Look yeah. at all them. Oh, and all of them are sitting out here, so you can really find. There's your PRR. That's, yep, we're going to yep. have to get us one. Got to let your PRR your freak PRR flag fly. Shine. Yep, and then all of these are... Uh, oh, Travel wow. makes the best end scale Amtrak stuff. It's really cool. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, man. Yep, yep. They've got the new set out. Oh, look at new... that crazy. Yep. And then these are by road name and or by type. How about Trump juice? The juice trains. We call it the juice train. It comes through town. Oh, That's wow, awesome. really? And it's all Tropicana. And it comes up from Florida. So we so these are some of the oldest type of cars. So each paint scheme is from a different time. There's a different lettering scheme oh, wow. um, over the years. Of course, this is the one everyone likes the most, the orange with the straw in it. Mm. <laughs> That's cool. Look how little they are. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And of course, the N and HO guys are really serious about the road numbers. So you'll mm. notice that each one of these is has a different road number. And yeah. some of the club guys will have a consist of a hundred Tropicana cars. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, we were watching a video and they had one that had like a hundred cars on it. That thing is wicked. Oh, look. There's that one. Yeah, you the Canadian the National one, yeah. Wow. They really do. Oh, intermodal. Oh, look at that missile. That's wicked. Where's the missile? Right here. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's U.S. Air Force. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, someone's frantically typing right now. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so cool. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here. This has been really awesome. There's some more. Let's go up this center aisle that we kind of missed. Here they seem to have, there's a lot of starter sets Check here. out this sweet magnet. Oh, wow three-dimensional magnet there's like so much stuff in here we've like every time we walk past the shelf you see something new i love that it's so awesome there's just such a variety there's another mm -hmm. Harry Potter. yeah oh this one's the lion chief and uh, the lion chief is it bluetooth and whatnot yeah with the bluetooth on it hey is that uh gfw uh is that that car you had on your train the other day? That looks totally cool. I think it is. It may not be this exact one, but shout out there. Oh, that's pretty. That's a CP Christmas train, the holiday train car. It probably lights up. Yeah, what's this one? Huh? This was one of the... Uh, when I got back from Iraq, my father bought me a, not this exact set, it was the uh, Rail King Pennsylvania one with this locomotive with the passenger cars. And that was uh, when I got back, he'd given me that while I was still I waiting for out. my Lionel one. U.S. Air Force. There you go. Service to the West. Wow, they got lots of stuff. Oh, first responders train. And then UHO guys out there. Here's even more of the HO stuff. Look how neat. Oh, look at that. Back to another one. That's cool. DCC soon. Wow. Very neat. Oh, wow. They got a big boy here. In HO. Then he gave me another $120 worth of repairs yeah. here. Cool. There you go. Oh, I got the George Bush one in HL. So he paid for it, took those home, and then he brought them. And another one, Union Pacific Honor and our troops. Wow, they really do. I like the selection of the store. Guys, check them out. Oh, hey. Let's turn this on. Let's see what we can do here. Have a controller. Beeping at me. 
I think I had the steam train. Now you gotta turn it on here. Oh. Oh, that's cool. never played with Lion Chief before so this was just a brand new experience for us and if I didn't have the mask on you'd have seen my big goofy grin as if we played with this yeah that was cool I enjoyed that let's shut them down for now oh yeah, wow they got a test track here for n scale and HL very, very cool okay oh now these are cool you need these for your train room i have a couple of these already and we'll look through you got to get these coasters they're great because the glass doesn't stick to them and they're just out of the mouse pad stuff and look and it's all railroad stuff so you guys check these out they're totally cool because you know you have to have a drink while you're uh playing with your trains and then you get on the live streams and cab forward you can't do yeah that gets said too much oh wow look at that there's some cool stuff so we've gone through most of the store guys hope you've enjoyed that and comment let us know what's going on tell us what you like because we want to be able to come back here again and do stuff when we can go more in depth in the section we were just trying to do a brief overview and i don't know mike do you think they're going to want to i don't know i guess go shopping with us but i guess we could after we do some shopping we could show you what we did like we did last time so all right, guys, let's take a break for a minute and let's see what's going on. And we'll see you here when we're uh, after we go through and do some shopping ourselves. All right. Hey guys, here we are. We had a great time here. Tiny Tim's trains and toys here today in Ashland, Virginia. And here's our little haul that we got today. We got some great cars, a Navy van, of course, another Corvette. We got some nice P uh, PS1 awesome scale box cars. We have an MTH mystery engine we're going to open up, but it's a Premier 3.0. And then Russell assured me it is a virgin engine. It has never been out of the wrapping. I'm so excited. Some great PRR stuff signed. And we have a mystery box car we'll open up later. 
And that's an RMT one and the first one we've had. So guys, we'd really like to thank Suzanne and Russell. We had an amazing time here today at Tiny Tim's Toys and Trains. And hit them up. They're great. They're so helpful. And tell them Cross Anchor sent you. All right, guys. We'll see you a little later for the unboxing. Cross Railroad. We just heard another train coming. I don't know if we'd be able to rail fan or not. We got to run up there. But we wanted to get this amazing mural that they have here in uh, Ashland uh, by the train store. And again, this is Cross Anchors Railroad, Brian and Mike. And we're here checking this out. We're going to do a quick thing down this amazing mural that they have. And it is so cool. Dealing with the RFMP. And here, the Tropicana train comes right up through here, that CSX train. So that's a big shout out to that Tropicana train that they have there. Comes right here through town. The rail boxes, of course. Got a lovely Conrail. That is really cool how they did this mural down, the whole thing. Wow, look at that train go. This is so cool. And of course, back up here to the engine, which I'm assured was a real Oof. steamer that was doing it. We're going to try to be able to rail fan. Here it comes. Wow. Wow. You know, guys, we had one hell of a train day. In a couple hours, we got to see, what, five, four trains, four or five trains go by in an amazing train store. I don't know if we could have had a better Saturday. All right. Hang out here. Cross Anchors Railroads, Brian and Mike. Hit, a, uh, hit uh, smash that like button for me. Click subscribe and that bell next to it to catch all of our videos if you like them. We'll see you later, guys.